Hey guys, today I'm going to walk you through the steps of resetting a Windows 10 PC back to factory defaults. This process restores Windows back to day one to its original out-of-the-box settings and removes all installed programs. But what about your Windows profiles and personal files? Before you start, there are two main options you need to be prepared to decide upon keep data files or delete all data files. I'll bring you through both of these processes and explain the impacts of one option over the next. Kicking off the restore process is quite simple. To start, press the start button, then go to settings. Select update and security. Pick the recovery option about halfway down. The first selection here is called Reset This PC, so click the button Get Started. Now we are at the big decision point, do I keep my files or remove everything? Let's talk about the first option. This one is great if you are having software issues like window update failures, operating system or window crashes, or complex errors that you just can't figure out. Also if your PC is performing slower than normal or if there's just a ton of junk programs on there that you want cleaned out. When selecting option 1, here is what you're keeping and what you're deleting. Your user profiles are going to be safe. This includes all the files and subfolders under the C colon users user profiles for each user except public which will be deleted. Within each of these profiles we have the desktop, documents, downloads, pictures, favorites and videos. This means your profile will be saved including your username and password to access Windows after the reset is complete. Now what's not kept under the user profile is the app data folder. This is application related data such as settings for program files or data related directly to applications installed on the PC. Back up to the user profile level, there is a shared profile called public. Like I mentioned, this one is going to be deleted. Files and folders on the root of your C drive are going to be safe, assuming that's the drive letter where Windows is installed. With this option, no other drives are touched. No connected drives like USB external hard drives, thumb drives, or other internal hard drives. And this also includes any partitions. What's not kept though are mappings to network drives. They're dropped, the network drives aren't touched, just access to those drives will be dropped. Since all the programs on the C drive are going to be deleted, this will include everything under Program Files, Program Files x86, Program Data, and Windows. They're all going to be deleted and replaced with the factory default files. If you have any programs installed on another hard drive or partition, their future is questionable. It depends on where the original files were installed and where they were registered. You might have to go through afterwards and clean those up because they may not work. And lastly, any shortcuts to applications on the desktop, they're going to be removed once the corresponding program is deleted. Let's talk about the second option, remove everything. Thing. This is a more drastic reset and used when there are major application issues you cannot solve, like if the PC has a virus and you can't get rid of it. Or maybe you have already tried the keep my files option and that didn't solve your problem. Or maybe you're going to sell your PC or repurpose it and you want to start off with a clean slate. This process deletes everything which is deleted in the previous option but remove everything also wipes out all of the Windows profiles and everything on the C drive. Personal data files are questionable but we'll get to that shortly. I'll be using this PC as a dedicated security camera network video recorder running a security camera management tool called Blue Iris. I want a brand new machine with a fresh install and nothing to impact its performance. And by the way, none of these processes will impact your computer's BIOS like the firmware, boot sequence or any RAID setup that you may have. Before proceeding with any factory reset, I strongly recommend a backup of all critical files including data files, application setting files, or any application license keys that you may have because once you reinstall these applications, you're going to be looking for those license keys. I'll add a link in the description below to a good external hard drive that you may want to consider when backing up your files. I also add a link to a 500 gigabyte SSD which I've installed on this machine. It's super reliable and incredibly fast and it should make this process less than 20 minutes. Let's burn through the process of restoring this PC with option one, keep my files. We'll run through the second one, remove everything, here shortly. Looking at the My Documents folder here, I have three files. One for Word, another for Excel, 
and another for PowerPoint. These files won't be deleted, but their associated programs will. These network drives here will get dismounted as expected. And in the pictures folder, I have five cat pics, which will be saved. My desktop on the left-hand side should be pretty much wiped out here because the associated programs are all going to be uninstalled. On my C drive root, all of these files and folders you see here, they should be saved. Okay, so let's start over from scratch. Click on the start button, go to settings, select update and security, and pick the recovery option about halfway down. On top, we have the reset this PC. Let's get started. So we have keep my files. I'm going to click that. This is a notice telling you that Windows is going back to default. Files in the locations that we discussed earlier will be saved and apps and programs will be wiped. There's a link here showing you which programs are going to be removed. There are quite a few, so make sure you have backups or are prepared to lose these. Click reset to proceed. And now we're going to fast forward through this. Well, that SSD saved me a lot of time, only 15 minutes for this recovery. Now here I'm asked to log in with my old user profile, which of course was protected using this reset option. A few of the icons on the desktop are saved since their associated apps were not deleted or are part of Windows like remote desktop. In the upper left, there is a removed apps icon and that will contain a list of the programs which were removed. Let's jump in and check out my files. In the downloads folder, these are safe. Same with the documents. But as you can see here, the icons indicating the associated program to these files has changed because Office is uninstalled. And we have the pictures, which were all saved. Now, if you look at the root of my C drive, folders which I have added are not impacted. There may be program files in here, and those programs may be deleted, so a little cleanup may be required. When I go into Windows updates, there are several updates pending, so my next step would be to install these. So next we're going to check out that second option where we restore the system but select remove everything. So same steps as before to get to this point. And here we're going to select remove everything. Here we have a data deletion setting in addition to removing programs. These are the data removal options I was referring to earlier. Let me explain what they mean. The first one we're going to look at is data erasure. This is how your personal files will be deleted. This is your Windows profiles and all of the files on the root of your C drive, in addition to any other drives that you select in the next option. The first selection here is off, which just means it deletes your files. If this option is turned on, it deletes your files and overwrites them so they cannot be easily recovered. This is a good option if you're selling your PC or if you want to make sure all of your data is unrecoverable. Below we have the data drives option, and this is what drives are going to be wiped clean. When it is off, it means that just the files from the C drive where Windows is currently installed will be deleted. Partitions on this drive will not be impacted. When this option is turned on, it means it will delete all of the files on the C drive and any other internal drives that are connected directly to the motherboard. This also includes any files or folders on partitions on these drives. The partition themselves won't be removed, but the files and folders on them will. If I check what drives will be impacted, it says E, and E is a partition on my C drive. Any connected USB flash drives or external hard drives will not be impacted if you select this option. Next, we're going to confirm the settings, and now confirm what will be reset and kick off the process. And we're going to fast forward here again. Wow, that only took 10 and a half minutes to do a full Windows install to get it set up from scratch. That's a pretty impressive SSD. So let me fast forward through this Windows setup. All of the icons on my desktop are gone as expected. And that includes all documents and pictures. So those folders will be empty. When I open up Windows Explorer, I see lots of extra hard drive space, which is just what I wanted. 
The root of my C drive is also cleared up and we're back to factory defaults with all my old applications and junk data removed. All right guys, that covers all of the options for resetting your Windows 10 PC back to factory default. For me, my next step is to set up this machine as a dedicated network video recorder for my security cameras, but that's in an upcoming video. I hope that you found this information helpful in understanding the restore options and how they impact what data is saved and what's deleted. Again, the links for the drives are in the description below. Please like and subscribe for more home tech projects. Thanks for watching.